So it's uh, ICOM IC <coughs> A210E airband radio. Um, we just turn on the volume. Turn up the volume for power on. This is our dual watch, so we can listen to two frequencies together. At the moment, we're listening to 124.5 and also listening to 122.95. And the priority channel is 124.5. And you can set the intervals to sample both, right? Don't worry about that. Anyway, the next thing um, we'll just look at is emergency channel. So you can set your emergency channel there, one two one decimal five. That's what we have. If you needed that, you'd have to toggle it. Okay. You don't want that on. The next thing button is uh, recall. That's for recalling different channels. It also keeps the history of what you used. Generally, we won't use that. This is called the O dial in here, the bigger one. And this is the flip flop just to change over. So if we hold recall for two seconds, we get into the, the menu setting. And um, the first one is squelch level and it's at zero one so no basically one you can turn it back to be minus but i'm just going to show you the settings that's on here it's at one next thing we have the headphone level and it's on af gain so that means just whatever volume the headphones are the headphones are getting the same volume as the radio basically you can change that to off if you need to but it's set at af gain next one intercom level is at 60 level one intercom level two is at 60. mic squelch is at 15. mic squelch two at 15. the anl is off Lock mode is on dial. That won't make any difference. The dual watch, which won't make any difference for what the problem you had, won't matter. Priority watch won't matter. Um, memory protection won't matter for your problem anyway. It's on off. Group memory is on label. That won't make any difference. Mic gain is at zero. That may make a difference. Mic gain 2 is at 0. Side tone level. This is something that might be a, an issue for you. 35 we're at here. Uh, transmit mic select. So basically when you push the push to talk button, the PTT, um, on this configuration, the two mics come through. So you have mic 1 and 2. You can set it on mic 1 only. So when you push the PTT, only the pilot... Um, the pilot's voice goes through. Uh, display mode is on auto. You don't need to worry about that. That's just for backlighting. That's backlighting again. More backlighting. More backlighting. More backlighting. That's frequency display. Um, whether you want the zero at the end. It's on zero at the minute. These are internal settings. Um, if you have a couple of users, can have different a different setup, and you can switch between them. Ogs in. That's for if you have your phone going into the back of it. If there's an ox in a port, um, it's off at the minute. You can also set it through the intercom. Um, ox level. Well, we're not worried about that beeping. It's just the beep menu. Uh, the beep. When you scroll through the menu, do you want to hear that or not? Um, income mode. Um, not so sure what that one does. Income mode, but it's on. On. I'm sure it's intercom. Intercom mode. Time out. Now this is when you press the PTT and you start to talk. It lets you go for 120 seconds, which is two minutes. After that time, it'll turn off itself, and the, that's 
to prevent maybe a, an open mic situation where somebody's mic is faulty or you press the button and you hold your finger on it and forget to release it. Frequency step, we're on 8.3 obviously, 3. Interlock, that's for locking two of them together. We don't have that situation. Memory clear, you can erase all memory set everything back to factory default here in this setting so that's it if i hold recall again i should get out of that menu to hold it for two seconds i think that didn't work let's try that again there we go more than two seconds so there we're out with that. The last thing I'll say is the volume on. Um, if you hold that volume, you can use, there's a test. And on the jewel, if you hold the jewel, you can turn on and off the intercom. See, ICS. ICS is on now. That's the intercom. So it depends on what way it's set up. If you have an intercom box, you won't need to turn that on. But if you don't have an intercom box, um, turning that on basically will let you hear the conversation between pilot and passenger a lot better. It'll amplify the, the uh, signal. If you turn it, if you leave it off, well, it's grand. It's better off when you're on your own, I find. Hope that works for you.